Well, guys, I thought for, um, oh, there's a clear of a light here, it's, so it's a little bit hard, but to do a follow up on the Monday discussion of last week of, you know, feeding um, these little babies, and they can be difficult. You know, some are more than happy to feed, and others, you know, can take that little bit longer to get going. And Layla has recognized that mum is here, um, but you'll notice that I've actually put Layla into a much smaller um, environment, which was suggested to me to put her into something much smaller, even though I know she was doing okay in in the other one, um, but to just to get her to start feeding, um, it, it was a suggestion um, to leave her in something this small for um, at least four days um, for her to adapt to this. Um, as I said, I don't, I'll, I'll put you down a bit closer to Layla here. Um, I don't want to open the lid because, you know, I've been keeping this room quite dark and I've also had most of her enclosure covered as well to speed up that uh, safety uh, view for her. You know, I'm, I am not worried. She's still extremely active and she is drinking regularly. I see her do that. And I, you know, so long as she's drinking and remaining active and that tongue is, is flicking and doing all that it needs to do, you know, I'm not in that, oh my goodness, you know, this is no good now and I need to do something and I'm not going to leave it to where I feel that she is showing signs of malnutrition either. I haven't weighed her um, at all but I don't think my scales would even register her to be quite honest so I haven't gone there but you know, I have attempted and tried pretty much everything with Layla right now. I even uh, caught a gecko and rubbed her pinky all over the gecko, which as a little hatchling is something that she would eat, um, is little lizards. But uh, no, she was not at all interested even so so I've tried scenting it and I've tried braining it I have tried having it exceptionally quite hot um, the pinky itself and she is certainly not showing any signs of actually wanting it so this is my last ditch effort with Layla right now is putting her into this much smaller um, environment. Um, you know, I've put her leaves in there so she can go over there and hide under them. But of course it's too small to create a hide area. Though with the cloth over it, it does create that env environment for her. So, you know, if it does fail and she doesn't eat, I would say by at the most next Monday and it's Sunday. So I may not even last till the Monday. I'm going to give my vet a call this week and I'm going to ask her what she thinks and feels right now. Um, if I've mentioned in a previous video I lose track of what I have done and haven't done actually to be quite honest with you 
but I'm going to ring and ask um, my vet's opinion and should a cyst feed be necessary then it will be my vet that actually does that for me. I'm not going to do it. Now in saying that I will be getting the vet to show me exactly how it is done so that should I need to do that again with Layla I will be confident in doing it myself because it might take Layla a few of those assist feeds for her to really get going and take them herself. So I have mentioned in another video that her sibling has not eaten also. So, you know, it's not just Layla, you know, one of her siblings is also struggling to to take a meal so yeah so here I was running around all night well not all night but a good hour chasing geckos and they're fast little buggers I tell you how I managed to get it with my hand I I would have filmed it but I really needed both hands guys so you know a torch in one and a free hand as well to actually catch the little bugger and uh, finally I did so um, I can't bring myself to kill him so um, I'll, I'll show you actually my little gecko who has lost its tail though I did not grab by the tail but um, you will see um, him there with his lost tail and it was not successful so I will be letting him go guys I would never kill it um, <laughs> to be, I couldn't kill it so um, you know I just put the pinky in rubbed it all over this gecko and I'm sure the gecko was absolutely terrified but I haven't killed it and I'm actually getting ready to release it back outside and, and I'm sure he'll be fine and uh, yeah survive okay but um, you know anything to try and get Layla to um, start eating I even offered her the tail and she showed absolutely no interest in it either so I just have a baby that is um, taking her time with eating and I keep being told when she's hungry she'll eat but that isn't always the case guys you know some will just starve themselves to death and I of course am not willing to allow that to happen when I know that I can prevent that and if it means going to the vet and uh, you know yes I'll have to pay for this but like any of my animals if they get ill or injured I take them to the vet so I think that's a responsibility as a owner of any animal and that includes snakes too many people just think well what does it matter I paid $15 for this thing I'm not taking it to the vet where it's going to cost me maybe $200 being a specialty field reptiles it is a little bit more expensive for that consult so but that's your responsibility if you aren't prepared to go to the vet and pay the bill should your snake become ill then don't go and get a snake you know it if you keep and look after your snake properly you should have no health issues with them but sometimes things do happen such as Lily she stopped eating I starved her for quite a while and that was long enough for me so I took her to the vet who of course just confirmed 
look, she's just not ready. Don't worry about it. Keep doing as you're doing and eventually she'll eat. Well, she did. But it wasn't from starving her out. It was giving her a chick. And now she's on mice, so okay, she's eating not exactly where I wanted her to go and what I wanted her to end up on, but more importantly to me is that she's eating. And uh, I know that she's healthy and that there is nothing wrong with her. So I could go to bed and go to sleep and feel a little better. Right now, I and back to a few sleepless nights worrying about Layla not eating um, at this particular point but uh, you know so long as I see her drinking and moving around and being active I'm okay how long that's why I'm ringing my vet um, tomorrow to ask her opinion and see what she thinks just to let her know the time frame thus far and you know it's hot um, and what does she suggest if she says you bring her in and I will give her a feed then that is exactly what I'm going to do guys I don't know how to do everything you know I've had snakes for a long time but I have never assist fed and I'm not going to do it not this time I'm not afraid to give it a go. If I know what I'm doing, I will do it. So, and I know my vet will will help me out and show me how to do this. So, um, but hopefully, Layla will take this assist feed should it happen, and away she goes. So, uh, yes, this will be my upload today, tonight, for tomorrow, being Monday here in Australia. So guys, um, I know it's pretty boring just a camera on Layla, but I'm not getting her out for a camera shot. I will put in some video of her crawling around that I've done previously so you can see her. Um, but otherwise, that's it. So if you've got a problem feeder and you do not know how to assist feed that you've never done it and don't tell me you know how to do it by watching a video on YouTube that is not how you learned how to do it be prepared to pay for a vet visit and or be a person that is gone and got that hatchling and you know it's had that two or three feeds before it arrives on your doorstep Layla I know only had one but I was still prepared to take her knowing there was every possibility I would end up with her needing an assist feed so guys this is it I'll end the video and I'll say my usual um, don't forget to like um, subscribe to my channel and share my videos so with that I'll say Bye.